Greetings my friends, my name is Olivia, but you probably already knew that because you clicked on this video. If you saw our video we posted before this, which was our nursery renovation video, then you know, you've seen what we did to the walls and you've seen what we have almost done to the ceiling. We revealed which wallpaper we picked in the last video and we're going to begin this video by putting the wallpaper up and styling the ceiling with just like our light fixture, the wallpaper, etc. And then we are going to style this little nursery, bring it to life because we are in the single digits. I actually don't even know how many days we have left, but it's less than three weeks until his due date. So we are maybe a little late, maybe right on track. I don't know. You guys let me know um, how you think we're doing time-wise. But let's get started on styling this room. So the first thing we did was clean off the ceiling and then we started by using our Loomwell wallpaper. It was kind of like a A roll, B roll, so we knew which one we had to start with and which direction we had to work in, which was super helpful and it really didn't take us that long, probably less than an hour to get all of the wallpaper up and then get everything cut out, get the light fixture on, all the fun things, and we absolutely love it. I think it's such a cute little pattern for a little boy's room, and I will link this wallpaper down below on Loomwell's website. They have so many cute wallpapers, especially for like more youthful spaces like this, so if you are interested in wallpaper, definitely check them out. All right, you guys, it is a few days later. I have gathered some more things for his room and so I'm going to hopefully be able to put them all up today before it gets dark. Let's do it. So my plan is to put a little like glider chair right here in the corner. We don't have it yet, but I think this is the one we're getting. Even though we don't have that, I still wanna style this corner. So I'm gonna put a little side table here and probably some art on the wall and just get it as buttoned up as I can. Today is like the last day that I want to spend like really styling this space until we do the finishing touches, so. <sighs> picture I think is really sweet. It's a vintage like antique sort of thrifty find um, and it's really cool because it's like textured and I found it at the very beginning of last year before we were even pregnant and I thought this would be so cool to put in like a little boy's room someday and here we are. <laughs> Zach's gonna help me put up the curtain rod right there. I'm gonna hang this I think right up here. All right, the little picture is up. It's so cute. Zach is working on the curtain rod right now. So then we can hang the curtains. And then other than that, I think I'm mainly just gonna be like doing some like little accessorizing, organizing today and call it a day. Oh, well, now that the curtains are up, does it look more like a room? I would say so. It looks really good. It looks curtainy. I'm thinking maybe getting some little like the tie back things, you know, just to, you know, keep it bright, keep it fresh. There's always a storm before the calm, always a storm, <laughs> but we're getting close. Okay. Last thing that I wanted to hang up on the walls today is this little peg rack. I guess I would call it that. I'm thinking, what do you guys think? Something like that. So 
that looks really cute right there. Right here, I feel like we need some sort of like bookshelf or something like that. But for now, all I have are these baskets with his toys and his books. So I'm just gonna leave these like so for now, but hopefully we can get a little something going on right there. <sighs> okay, so some of the final things that I wanna do is I wanna put something actually along this wall, which is the wall that's behind the camera right now, um, that his crib is on. I don't know if I should be basic and put like his name in like big letters or something like that. Stay tuned. But right now I'm going to organize like the top part of his dresser. And then tomorrow I'll probably make some labels for the inside. I'm gonna keep his changing mat under the dresser if it'll fit. Wow, that's like perfect. Just because I just feel like I'm gonna wanna sit on the floor when I change him. We'll see if that method works and then we can just use the top for storage. All right, you guys, the glider chair just got delivered. That's gonna go in that back corner right there. And Zach is about to bring it upstairs. Then we're gonna assemble it. Oh, I'm out of breath because I walked up the stairs two times in a row. This is the end of pregnancy, my friends. But this glider is like the last like big thing that we needed for this room. And then we'll just get like a few more small things and then it'll be done. Oh, so let's see what it looks like. Okay, I'm gonna sit in the chair for the first time. This feels so surreal. Oh my goodness, it's like, I'm just sitting here rocking a baby, except he's on the inside still. <laughs> this was the last piece of the puzzle for the nursery. It is so comfy. This is literally my first time sitting in it. It's so soft. It's from Namesake, which is actually where our crib is from as well. And I just think like the style is so cute. And this is the Harbor recliner. I, I don't know. I just like the very like tufted style. I think it goes well with the style of crib that we got. And it just kind of ties in with like the other details we have in the room, which are just a little bit more traditional and like classic in style. And there's a few cool things that this chair does. So let's try them out. Okay, so first thing, obviously, it rocks. It's like a nice soothing sensation for the baby and very comfy for me. And then over here, there's actually a USB and a USB-C port, which is so cool. So if I'm chilling here for a while, I could charge my phone or like I could plug in one of our little like speakers or like sound machines or something like that if that just needed to occur or like the little essential oil diffuser I have right there. And then you're probably wondering, what are these two buttons for? Well, I'm actually wondering that as well. Let's see how they work. Oh my gosh. This is so fancy. Wow. I feel like this is gonna be the spot where you're gonna wanna be. I love that this is like electronic. It's so nice, so easy, and just in and out, just like that. Wow, you're gonna have a lot of fun with this. I will leave the link to this below because I feel like having something like this in a nursery is just like essential. That's why it took us so long and it's literally the last piece that we're getting just because we wanted to make sure we were getting something that fit our style and that just was gonna work within the nursery. So this is the Harbor Recliner from Namesake. I'll leave the link below so you guys can check them out. It's great. Okay, Zach's gonna try it out too. All right, let's go. There you go. Now I need a TV over there to watch football no. on Saturdays. <laughs> Ooh, maybe even on the ceiling, my goodness. This is the life. It's dad approved, it's mom approved, it's baby approved. We're chilling. <laughs> Hello and welcome to our finished 
nursery. I'm so excited this day has finally come, literally two weeks before <laughs> our due date, we finally finished the nursery. So nothing like waiting till the last minute, but I'm so excited to take you guys for a tiny little tour of this tiny little room for a tiny little boy. All right, so you guys have seen a lot of the like decorating process, but I'm just gonna go through everything again in case this is more intriguing than the last video for you. But this little pig rack is so cute. It's from Helen Milan Home. It's like just a natural birch wood. I really love it. And then I just have his little diaper bag hanging on it. Realistically, this probably isn't gonna stay here. So I'll probably be using it. But for now, while we don't need it, this is where it's at. And then I just styled it with some little baby shoes um, that I bought at Walmart because I couldn't resist. <laughs> this little wooden airplane Zach and I bought when we were on our baby moon and it was a handmade wooden airplane, which is so cute. And I just have one of his little ultrasound pictures right there until we have some IRL photos of him. <laughs> and then down here, we still never sort of finished like or at least I never finished with what I wanted to do down here. But realistically, he's not going to be playing with toys or reading books for a little while. So these little baskets work just fine for now until we can get a little bookshelf or something as he gets older. And the baskets were gifted to us, like thrifted to us, like years ago. So I don't have a link for them or anything, but I do have a link for this and this. So you're welcome there. And then this lovely non-aesthetic part of the room, the baby monitor. Again, we haven't actually used it yet, but we've tested it out and it seems pretty fun. So I will link that for you guys if you are looking for just like a nice high quality video baby monitor. Our crib is from Namesake. It's the Liberty model and this is just the like sort of off-white color. I think it's so cute. It's very classic. We bought it when we didn't know if we were having a girl or a boy. So I wanted something that would just be like gender neutral and versatile just in case. And now that I've been able to dress it up with like little hints of blue and like the tan and the white, I think it's just like the perfect little boy space. And this blanket is from West Elm. And then this really cute muslin sheet is from Mushy. And the crib skirt is from Amazon. And then over here, I have a little basket that just has all of our little baby wraps and carriers in it because I have two and Zach has one. So I figured we just would need some more easy so we can just like pull them out as we need them. And then the main focal point of the room, as you guys have seen, our lovely Harbor recliner from Namesake. I know you guys have already seen me sit in it, but I'm out of breath, so I needed a rest. <laughs> and just as a recap, it has this lovely electronic reclining feature, which is just great. And now that the whole nursery is done, it just feels like, wow, I want to hang out in here. And he agrees, he agrees, so let me come back up. And if all of that weren't exciting enough, Namesake was actually so sweet and gave me a discount code that I could share with you guys. So if you use NSOliviaF15, you can get 15% off anything on their website. So it could be this exact chair, it could be one of their other glider recliners, or it could be like a crib like ours, um, they have so many cute ones. They have dressers, little storage units and everything. So definitely take advantage of that because as we all know, things add up when you're having a baby. So 15% off is kind of a big deal on like a big ticket item like this. So NS Olivia F 15, definitely use it. I loved styling this with just like a little pillow from Target and then this little bear that was gifted to him as well. And then this is vintage, so I can't link this. And you guys may be wondering why I left an entire wall blank without doing anything to it. And that is because I decided to be a basic mom and get a little like wooden cutout of his name, but I didn't want to reveal that to you guys just yet. So that's why there's nothing on the wall, but 
stay tuned in a couple more weeks and then you can see what that wall looks like. And then over here we have, well first, our wallpaper from Loomwell, which we love and is linked below as well. And then we got this curtain rod from Target. These white linen curtains are from Parachute Home. And then these really cute little brass, like golden curtain hold back sort of situations um, are from Amazon. Everything will be linked, by the way, that I can link. <laughs> and then this little tree stump actually is from my like front yard when I used to live in California and it was being cut down and we got to save a little piece of it and it's just traveled with me throughout all the homes I've lived in and my young adult life and so now it is his a little side table in his room and then I just styled it with some thrifted books this little brass rocking horse which I just think is like the cutest little thing ever that I got at a thrift store or an antique store. And then my Vitruvi um, Move Essential Oil Diffuser. Moving over here to his closet. It is literally the tiniest closet. Like even just like the width of the door <laughs> is so narrow, but it's so cute and perfect for him. We initially, like it had a wire rack, but we took that down and then just put up a simple rod and then a simple board like to use as a shelf, just kept it classic. Nothing crazy. This is just a little like keepsake box. It's actually really cool. I will link it for you guys, but there's not really much to go through right now considering he's not here yet, so we don't have any keepsakes. Um, and then we have a little thrifted piggy bank, a basket with some like instruction manuals for all the baby things and then all of his clothes that are the appropriate size i hope for him right now the rest i have in his dresser and then he has a little laundry hamper down there i have my snuggle me nursing pillow which i don't know where i'll end up using this but I'm keeping it in here for now since obviously i don't need it yet and then the snuggle me lounger as well and then in this back corner literally a mountain of diapers and wipes but it's not it's not cute you guys it's not cute and then moving on to the dresser this was a really cool vintage like find um, on Facebook marketplace I got it for $80 and then after doing some research found it on eBay for I think almost $600 which is kind of crazy. It's like a late 1800s, early 1900s dresser. So I think that's really special. And that was like the one thing in his room that I really wanted to be vintage was the dresser. So I have that styled with some more thrifted books, a little thrifted teddy bear. Sorry, I can't link any of that. And then this mirror from Target, which I've had for years and years and years probably like six years or something like that so glad to see it's made its way into here and then this little diaper caddy also from target and this really cute little like journal book that i'm going to be writing in throughout his life and i initially was going to make the top of this a changing table but then i just feel like i don't know I feel like I'm just going to want to be on the floor where it's like most comfy. So my plan, you can tell me if I'm being crazy here. My plan is just to be like pop like that and then just like slide this out, which is like a little changing mat from Gather. Do the changing and then just slide it back in. Put that right back on top. And then I'm just going to stay on the floor now because once you're on the floor, like, that's it. There's no getting back up. <laughs> we have this little Ubi diaper pail here just for, again, I just feel like this is easy. Just diapers in and then we're done. And then in his dresser, since I know people love to see a nice nursery dresser, it's a little rickety, but I'll show you guys what's inside. So in the bottom drawer, I have all of his three to six month clothes and they're just like the cutest little neutral little boy shades. 
the like three six to 12 month clothes that we have. And then a bunch of extra wipes. And then in the middle drawer, I've got some swaddle blankets, some regular blankets, some extra crib sheets, and then some extra little muslin burp cloths. I have them everywhere around the house, but still have extras. And then in the top drawer, I've managed to pack a lot of diapers into here. And then some like just cleansing water wipes, some regular wipes for diaper changes, some tiny socks, and tiny little beads. <gasps> They're so small. And then some pacifiers and a pacifier clip. And that's it. That is our tiny little nursery tour. Thank you guys so much for watching our whole little nursery process. I am very excited to introduce him to you guys once he's here in just a few weeks. It really could be any day now, but for sure within the next month, he will be here and we will get to use this little nursery, which is gonna be just so fun. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you really soon, probably, maybe, hopefully with the baby on the outside. <laughs>